üç gün sahradan Kırar kaldı sesi Kerbelaya Kerbelaya Kerbela Kerbelaya Kerbela We are on the walk from Najib to Karbala as you can see as far as your eyes can see in front there are individuals as far as your eyes can see in the back there are people there is our it's just amazing to see that the love Imam Hussein holds and the love that these people hold in their hearts for Imam Hussein that they're willing to go through anything just to be there on the day of Arbaeen take time out and we will fight and strive for you Abu Abdullah that will continue to show our declaration of love and support regardless of what time and what era we're in The plan now is we move, we make a move, we go to pole 150, we have a rest, we have a nap, power nap, we have food and then we start again and rest at 250. Okay. Rest at every 100 poles for one hour until we reach 471 when we sleep for the night. Imam Hussein Islam, was a humanitarian message, was against oppression, injustice in his time, vices of evil had taken over and it was imperative for him to stand up against all the injustice that occurred and rising against injustice and oppression. There is a member of every nationality here, all walking towards the same goal, all striving for the same cause, one community. One aim, one mission, one goal. So our plan is to walk until uh, pole number 470, where we will be stopping for the day at uh, the Al Zahra Trust Mokib. A Mokib is a, is a tent or a house that's been set up for the Zawar of Imam Hussein to come and rest, have some food, sleep, and then move on. Finding the walk so far? Not, not too bad, alhamdulillah. Um, we're gonna get a rest at Walk of 200. Uh, every hundred stops we're trying to take a rest. Okay. So, alhamdulillah, so far so good. It's my first time in a row. MashaAllah, uh, okay. It's the first time. First time. And how are you finding it? Amazing. Okay. It's a bit overwhelming. Zara Trust, I feel great. I've just had a hot shower and uh, I've prayed my fajr. I've got up. Um, I think I'm going to go back to sleep for another couple and then I'm going to start my walk. When I see, I don't see all the people, I was really, really shocked. Literally 30 million never feet in my life. Uh, walking through all the way, one road, everybody, and everybody from all different, different cultures, different, different countries. Uh, it's just like next level feeling. And uh, first experience, amazing, I would never forget. This is for the Khidmat of Imam Hussein, nothing better than to serve the Zaydin of Imam Hussein. And we're all helping each other out, we're all very tired. You can see Zaid here, he's doing Brother Kareem's back. And uh, we're all very tired from the walk. So Alhamdulillah, we're taking the time out to make sure we each feel better and we can go back on the road to Imam Hussein and help the Zaydin reach Karbala. experience in itself is walking together with with the group and despite the difficulties that we're facing everyone looking at the whole world millions of people going for the same same cause 
I'm going in the name of Imam Hussein. It's, it's absolutely amazing. The feeling is indescribable. It's like you are walking in, in heaven. I've never seen anything like it before. I've never seen anyone from communities that are around treat the Zairene of Imam Hussein like this. The generosity of the Iraqi people. The, the love that they show towards the Zairene of Imam Hussein from all over the world. It's completely amazing. If you have not been here before, I would suggest to just be here once in your lifetime. And trust me, you will come again and again and again. I decided in my heart that next year I'm coming. No matter what happens, next year, year after, I will try my best to come every year, inshallah. There are many practical realities that you'll face during this walk. One of which, firstly, can be the entire length of it. It's three full days of walking. In those three days, you walk and you walk and you walk. Yes, you are walking with a purpose, but this walk makes you question everything. It makes you humble yourself. It makes you really test your ego and it makes you question that ego. Every single person needs to experience this. <clears throat> there are millions of people that go there, they go there to accept the reality of Imam Hussein's message. They go there to acknowledge his great sacrifice. And it's important for every human being, regardless of any religion, race or background, to follow inspiration that Imam Hussain Islam left behind. Just past pole number 1000, throughout this entire walk, you notice that there are children walking, there are disabled individuals walking and crawling to Imam Hussain. And you stand there looking at this spectre and you see yourself as an able-bodied person finding it difficult, complaining over the tiniest of things, small blisters in your feet, when there are people here with no feet. Small tiredness, bits of tiredness, small issues that you may face throughout this walk. You look at some, you look to your left, you look to your right, and there are people of different ages, different races, different abilities doing the exact same thing that you are trying to, to do as well. Inshallah, we are leaving now, which is about half past 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. We want to get to Karbala before Fajr, because that's when there's going to be a lot of traffic of people, so to speak. So Inshallah, yes, we're walking towards heaven. We left heaven and we're going to heaven. So nothing greater than this walk. This walk is a path of heaven and Inshallah, we're going towards Abu Abdullah Hussein to renew our allegiance to him and to let Sayyidina Fatima to Zahra Alayha know that we swear to you, Ya Zahra, we have not forgotten you. Salams. 
to Sayyid Shahla. Everyone is personally reflecting. People are crying. People are shedding tears in anticipation to see their beloved Imams. Servants. Our hearts are Husseini, our tongues are 